Breaking news coming in at the moment. Five Indian Army soldiers, including a JCO and four Jawans, lost their lives in a mishap that took place when a tank was crossing a river during an exercise last evening at Dolak Beg Oldie region in Ladakh. Five bodies have been recovered so far. This is what defense sources have told India today. There was a mishap that took place at the Dolak Beg Oldie region in Ladakh during a tank exercise that was taking place. Five Indian Army soldiers lost their lives in a mishap during a river crossing exercise last evening. This mishap took place in the Dolat Beg Old E region. Five bodies have been recovered so far. This was a mishap which took place in the Dolat Beg Old E region in Ladakh. Initial reports at the moment are suggesting to us the fact that there was a sudden increase in the water levels when the tanks were crossing and this was a routine exercise that was taking place in the Dolat Beg Old E region in Ladakh. My colleague Manjit Negi is now joining me on the story. Manjit, Manjit, from what we are understanding at the moment, the number that has come out from the defense sources at the moment stands at five. Do you believe the number of casualties could increase? Well, as far as the army, there were five soldiers in the tank at the time of incident, including one ratio uh, general commission officer and four jawans. One person has been located while the search for the other is going on. And the uh, which have uh, uh, five Indian Army soldiers, including one ratio, and four Javan lost their life in the uh, exercise uh, near the very only area. Manjit, uh, you know, do these kind of exercises keep on taking place? Was this a routine exercise? Well, Manjit, uh, uh, some of the uh, time the army uh, do this kind of uh, exercise, especially uh, China border, uh, including Galwan, Dalbe, Uldi, and other parts of the eastern uh, Ladakh area. And the uh, missile took place yesterday at the Dalbe, Uldi area, where the, uh, during the tank exercise of the uh, crossing the river uh, yesterday, and the, uh, the, the rescue work is still going on. So you are saying, Manjit, the rescue missions are still going on, so there are chances that the number of casualties might increase. Uh, do you also believe, uh, you know, that this was a natural disaster? What is it that you are hearing from your defense sources? Well, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the sudden increase of the water level in the river uh, caused this uh, incident. And the first, uh, the, uh, first tank, uh, 72 tank, uh, which was the part of the river crossing exercise uh, uh, since this incident. And the, uh, the, uh, since yesterday, Army uh, did, uh, launched a big rescue operation, including, uh, uh, including many soldiers and other uh, equipment. And after that, the one uh, person has been located uh, live in the district first operation. But in, in this... Uh, uh, incident, uh, uh, as for the, the latest information, there were five soldiers, including one general commission officer uh, and four Javans lost their lives. Right, Manjit, you know, we have also seen uh, small fights taking place between India and China, specifically in this region. China is increasing the defense. Do you believe the number of army personnel, especially in this region, have increased over the past few years? Well, uh, in the, uh, especially the, uh, after the Galwan incident, the uh, uh, Indian Army uh, maintained lots of uh, uh, soldiers, in, in, at least uh, 60,000 soldiers are still in the uh, Ladakh area. And China also increased their uh, uh, activity in the Doklam uh, Plateau, maintain uh, their uh, air power, especially the uh, J10, J20, J20 like fighters. So, uh, Indian Army continuously uh, did their, do their exercise and we uh, uh, maintain their firepower in this area. Manjit, uh, Right, thank you Manjit for giving us all those details. My colleague bringing forth the fact that five Indian Army personnel have lost their lives during a routine exercise in Ladakh. News that's coming in at the moment. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has condoled the death of the Jawans. Rajnath Singh has said he's deeply saddened by the loss of lives of five of our brave Indian Army soldiers. 
This took place in an unfortunate accident while the tank was crossing a, a river in Ladakh. We will never forget the exemplary service of our gallant lead soldiers to the nation. My heartfelt condolences to the bereaved families. The nation stands firmly with them during this hour of grief. My colleague Meer Farid is also joining me on the story. Me, the number of casualties at the moment stands at five. Do you believe this number could go up? Oh, well, yes. Now we've got confirmation that there have been five casualties as far as army tank men are concerned. Uh, now, as we reported earlier, this was an accident, a mishap that happened during routine uh, tank exercise of the army in the old... Uh, uh, Dolatbeg oldie sector, very close to the Mandir mode, and it was uh, a uh, stream that they were trying to negotiate. And it seems that the water came down gushing in. Probably there was a uh, cloud burst or something, and uh, they got stuck. And uh, it is uh, during this that these casualties have happened. We've been told that one of them was a junior commissioned officer, and uh, the army has managed to retrieve all the bodies, and in some time. Uh, they'll come out with the details of the complete details of the uh, incident and also uh, the identities and the ranks of uh, these officials. Now, uh, quite clearly, uh, the defense minister also expressing uh, uh, his concern on the accident and also paying homage to the Javans, uh, condolences to the family. And uh, as I said, uh, and we have been reporting about it uh, as to how uh, tensions have uh, been uh, on a high as far as the Eastern Ladakh sector is concerned, although from the last some time uh, there has been some de-escalation, de but there are still some uh, flash points that exist, and uh, because of that, there is a huge concentration of the Indian Army as well. They have mobilized troops, and there are close to uh, a lack of crew, one lakh troops that are scattered on the, the line of actual control, and uh, to keep them battered, ready, and prepared, such exercises do happen, and it was one such exercise which uh, has gone wrong involving a T-72 tank which is a main battle tank of the Indian Army. It is, of course, aging, but the Army has been trying to upgrade it uh, by uh, bringing in sophisticated equipment and radars and other things, sensors, etc., to ensure that it meets the, the, the international standards as far as armored vehicles are concerned. Right. So it was uh, one uh, tragic accident that has happened, and now further details have started to come out. As I said, in some time, we'll get to know about the personnel who have lost right. their lives, their ranks, etc. G. Meer, please stay on with me. Gaurav Savant is also joining us on the story. Gaurav, the number unfortunately now stands at five. The rescue operation still taking place. We have seen Gaurav specifically if we speak about the eastern Ladakh region. That's the place where the maximum mobilization of troops has taken place over the past few years. You know, the 880 kilometer long uh, line of actual control in eastern Ladakh uh, between India uh, and Tibet in places and India and Xinjiang, uh, where this in entire incident has taken place, the Ladakh Xinjiang line of actual control. Uh, this is where this incident has taken place in Dolatbek Goldie. This was a late night river crossing exercise. The T 72 uh, main battle tanks, the Ajay tanks of the Indian Army, they were part of this exercise. Uh, you know, crossing the river at night uh, and fast flowing river in this area. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, the, it, it is a very difficult task, but this is where the mishap took place in which one junior commissioned officer and four uh, soldiers of the Indian Army made the supreme sacrifice of their lives. A court of inquiry has been ordered uh, to know more about the circumstances in which, one, the exercise was taking place, uh, precautions, if any, uh, that, that were taken, and lessons to be learned. Uh, and if all standard operating procedures were followed. But, uh, you know, uh, to, to remain deployed in this area, uh, these are altitudes between 15,000 and 17,000 feet, extreme high altitude. And this is where India and uh, China uh, at the Ladakh Xinjiang LAC remain uh, locked in a confrontation where uh, there is no give from either side. Uh, you know, uh, this is where uh, India is being prevented from reaching some of our petrol points uh, uh, by China. There have been more than 20 rounds of dialogue, both at the level of the uh, core commanders, the army, and also the joint uh, border mechanism, uh, JS level talks in the Ministry of External Affairs. But Depsang and Demchok remain a cause for concern, resulting in the deployment of about 50,000 troops on the Indian side and close to 50,000 troops plus on the Chinese side.